do you think that your theater will be able to bounce back, um, you know, after the COVID-19 pandemic? Our hope very much is that we will be able to, uh, under strict safety protocols and following all the regulations of the local government and, and health officials, to reopen um, with a reduced ticket uh, count. So we'll have socially distant seating in the auditorium. So that will impact how quickly we can bounce back. But one of the benefits of being a nonprofit is that we can rely on grants and the generous donations of um, patrons as well as memberships. So we are hopeful that we will be able to weather the storm and everyone is struggling and, um, and we are a part of that, but we are confident that with um, a little bit of time, we're gonna be able to come back and make sure that we can still be there to offer all the great programming that we bring to our community. I was reading, um, you know, that AMC, you know, they're, they're a big movie, um, you know, a movie plays and they're saying that they won't be able to come back, but you do think that you'll be able to bounce back. I think that an art house theater is very different from a multiplex and that was true before COVID as well. We uh, in the art house theater community are resources for our communities. We are, uh, you know, the, the phrase that's most often used by the art house convergence, the mission that we stand by very closely is um, community-based mission driven. And so we are a small space, but we take up a, a large um, place in the lives of our community because of all of the programming that we do that it goes above and beyond just showing movies. We're a gathering space, we're an educational space. Uh, so I think that helps us in the reopening that people, it's not just which AMC out of the how many in my state that I go to, but it's, this is my theater. And I, I literally belong to this theater. And so I think that that um, will be a benefit to us. What are some of the safety precautions that you'll be taking once you are able to reopen? So we are working closely with the um, Theater Owners Association and with Art House Convergence to make sure that we are all on the same page as to what will be the safest way to open theater specifically. There are obviously um, guidelines to do with masks and sanitization and you know cleaning practices and social distancing in the space that are universal for all businesses, but there are some specific to theaters that we want to, uh, we will be working to implement and following uh, other theaters um, lead. So there are other states that are opening before Maryland, which allows us to see what worked for them, what didn't, what did they learn from the experience? And so we will uh, benefit from that, uh, I hope, as we move forward. You know, we're looking at, we're still weeks, if not more, away from opening. So there's time to, to plan all this out, but uh, definitely much higher uh, standards of sanitization in between every show, every seat will be wiped down, distancing in the theater itself so that only two people per row will be able to, you know, be seated in that row with a row beh behind and in front that is empty, um, protocols in the bathroom so that patrons don't have to get more than six feet within one another. Uh, we will have to be looking at concessions and whether in the very beginning is that something that we feel is safe to do. It may be that one of the initial things we do is that we are open and you can come see a movie, but uh, we won't be selling concessions. Um, looking at what's mandatory in terms of masks and contactless payment and everything that we can do to reassure the customer, making sure that tickets are bought in advance just to reduce any potential contact uh, for them. And then also keeping our safe um, distances with staff members as well. 